I'm pretty sure anybody that is watching this video right now has played video games growing up. If you have not played video games growing up, I'm sorry to break it to you. You're just lame and you're a square. You're not a rectangle. You're not a triangle. You're not a circle. You are a square and you probably get bullied at school and stuffed in the lockers. All right, that was a little too far, but look, I'm pretty sure everybody has played video games. Whether it was on the Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo, whatever, bro, even a PC. We've all had the satisfaction of playing video games. Now, look, this video video is not about video games this video is about the baddies that appear in the video games because bruh i be seeing all these youtubers making videos talking about the baddies that appear in cartoons movies and freaking tv shows but i don't see the video game shawty's getting any love so in this video we're going to be talking about the baddest females in video game history let's go ahead and jump right into it now look man when i was a kid i didn't really comprehend how bad some of these females were until i was a little bit older kid perpy i'm telling y'all right now was not no simp bro he, he was not no freak that was until i picked up one particular game and this story funnily enough is the first time i ever got bricked up in my life i'm not sure how old i was at this time but all i'm gonna tell y'all bro i went my whole life playing video games soft bro i've never been bricked up playing a video game before until i picked up grand theft auto 5 and i booted the game up and i see oh, that loading no, no. screen man y'all already know what i'm talking about out, bruh. She was just bad, bro. I don't know who that girl is to this day, bro. But all I'm gonna tell y'all, bro, when Kid Perpy saw that, he fell in love. Bro, Shoddy was just so bad, bro. I swear. Like, I know nowadays when y'all look at her, y'all be like, bro, that's just another bitch, bro. Like, it's just another regular ass blonde girl. But back then, bro, she just hit different. This was like my gateway to having crush on video game characters. I swear, bro. If there's anyone to blame, it's that girl right there, bro. That was on the gta loading screen and my friends will always complain about the gta loading screen they'd be like bruh it's taking too long i just want to play the game let me tell y'all something kid perpy he didn't give a fuck he just wanted to stare at the middies, bro. He didn't care. I enjoyed the loading screen more than the actual game as a kid. Uh, okay, let me stop. I'm lying because uh, nothing is more fun than running over innocent pedestrians. The only problem, though, this girl was not my crush for very long because I used to play GTA in the living room out in the open in front of everybody because back then i didn't have a tv in my room and when my mom saw me staring down this half naked girl oh she didn't like that bro mm -mm, she didn't like it one bit bro she took my playstation for i don't even know how long and she made me return the game i wasn't even mad about the playstation i was mad about the game bro because y'all don't understand how hard the game stop oh and i this is another thing i hate the GameStop employee was trying so hard to convince my mom to not buy the game he was like oh oh yeah this game has a violence um it has a drinking a naked girl like this man was trying so hard to get my mom to not buy the game for me and not to like freaking convince her bro this man was convincing her as if he was gonna get like a 15 percent raise after he did not sell her the game uh number one buddy your salary is still gonna stay at ten dollars an hour and on top of that you're literally making gamestop lose money by not selling me the game like while this employee was spewing all this garbage to her in english i had to convince her in our native language in arabic bro i had to beg her in arabic to buy me the game while this man is trying to tell her all the stuff that happens in gta motherfucker i had to bring up my report card i had to bring up all the chores i did like i just had to convince her bro it was hard and he did end up selling us the game because probably by this point i was screaming in arabic at my mom to buy the game and this dude probably thought we was gonna motherfucking bomb the store if he didn't sell it to and us. now that game is back at the store and that gamestop employee he's probably rubbing his hands together and laughing as we speak so yeah pretty much after the game got returned i didn't really play that much after the only other games i had i'm pretty sure was naruto ultimate ninja and dragon ball budokai tenkaichi 2 that was like one of the greatest games of all time as well both of those games had their baddies respectfully but uh back then i didn't really take notice of that because none of the females were half naked and i just wanted to beat the shit out of frieza and freaking orochimaru but the next female that young perpy had a crush on was bad as hell maybe not to y'all but to me bro she was bad as hell now look i know earlier i said that i had a playstation but trust me y'all growing up my whole life i was a nintendo kid like bro back then on the nintendo ds i was going crazy bro now before i tell y'all who it is a little disclaimer now this is kind of cheating because this character is actually from a tv show but they originated from a video game so technically it does count and that is may from pokemon bro now look man hey i'm old now so like i don't be on that no more but young perpy bro when he saw 
all that he was on that let me tell y'all that now at this point i was a little older so this was like a couple years after the gta incident now the game she originated from pokemon emerald it came out a couple months before i was born uh exactly two months before i was born so that game is older than me and at that time um the game had already ran its course by the time i was old enough to get my hands on video games there was already newer pokemon games coming out and the first time i actually seen may was through the tv show like i said earlier but since i was such a big fan of pokemon i would go back and i would play the older games now i didn't even know she was in these older games i thought she was just a, a tv show character so when i seen her in the game i was like oh shoot i know her from the tv show now now don't ask me why i had the biggest crush on her i don't know why bro like the the girl from gta from the loading screen that was explainable hella people had a crush on her this one is like kind of specifically for me well not specifically for me because like i've had i also had friends that played pokemon and they also liked her this is like kind of specifically for like the pokemon community but here's where the story starts to get a little bit deranged and kind of weird and uh if there's any kids watching this I, i'd advise you to probably stop watching through this point okay so uh, now that all the kids are gone i can finally say it um the, the time that i started having a crush on may was uh also around the time that i started beating my mom. now look I know, I know you think you think you know where this is going you think you know where this is going but it's it's not where you're going because it's, it's it's much worse the story is much worse that's why i asked the kids to leave if it wasn't that bad i wouldn't ask the kids to leave but it is bad so i'm gonna have to ask the kids to leave now y'all know how i said i found her through the tv show right now in the tv show the characters are animated and people usually freaking beat their meat to hentai all the time it's not rare it is pretty weird though but it's, it's not rare now she is like 12 years old in the show but at that time i was also like a little kid i think i was like 13 14 so it, i mean it wasn't weird but it was pretty weird now there's the animated version of her which is like an anime character from the tv show and then there's the pixelated one that is from the video game and i <laughs> and i want y'all to take a guess to which one young perpy chose to yank his chain to go ahead i'll, I'll give y'all time If you chose the first option, then you're correct. I mean, come on, I was pretty weird, but I wasn't that weird. It was actually the second option, I'm lying. Uh, no, bro, y'all better grill me in the comments, huh? I, I wouldn't make this video if I wasn't ready for that. Bro, y'all don't understand how down bad I was, bro. Because this was, like, at the time when I just found out about beating your meat, bro. So, like, y'all y'all understand, like, the desperation is there. I, I know the boys watching this understand, bro. The reason why, like, I'm extremely embarrassed is because of the way it went down, bro. So, back then, um, I used to, like, dabble in ROM hacks. So, if you guys don't know what ROM hacks are, it's pretty much taking a video game. Like, fans of the original video game, they take the video game and they add, like, mods like they'll add like extra characters or in this case they'll add like extra pokemon or extra content there was this specific rom hack called pokemon psychic adventures now to any normal person this probably just sounds like a regular pokemon game but to anybody who knows about rom hacks this probably just sent shivers down their spine just to sum it up this game is pretty much the original pokemon fire red and leaf green but um every time you defeat a trainer specifically a female you get to smash them oh, i know bro i don't know what i was doing playing that i know it's weird bro i don't know what i was doing bro my curiosity get the best of me when i heard of it and to make things even worse your rival in that game was specifically May. so that meant that i was gonna have to battle her a lot and that meant that i had to smash her a lot now i did play the entire game i'm not even gonna sit here and lie i played through the entire game uh, i cleared the elite four and it was time for the final battle now in the final battle you face the champion which is pretty much just your rival so you're gonna have to fight against your rival so in this case i was fighting against me and i did end up beating her uh despite the fact that the battle was extremely hard but uh that wasn't the only thing that was extremely hard because i knew what was about to go down because in this game every time you defeat your rival you get to do the nasty with them and i don't know what came over me bro i don't know what i was thinking bro but it like the game doesn't show you the scenes like of them doing the nasty it just like shows you the character pixelated but they're like naked like yeah they're naked but like the character is pixelated but like i don't know what i was thinking bro like I, like i just whipped it out bro i, I don't know man I, I really don't know young perpy was weird and if y'all think i'm lying bro y'all can go look it up for yourself bro look up pokemon psychic adventures I, I know the kids are gone now but to the people that are still here go look it up bro i am not lying but yeah anyways back to the story so after i did the deed bro the post nut clarity hit me so hard bro i just felt like a failure to my family bro i was like damn 
I'm, I'm really just a loser, bro. Like, what am I, bro? Like, yeah, sure. I defeated the final battle and I became the Pokemon champion, but I'm not really the winner here. I didn't play Pokemon for a long time after that. Also, by the way, I forgot to include this. This was all done on my school computer. Yeah, um, the, the school never found out, but it, it was done on my school computer. So, um, yeah, after that roller coaster, we're going to be moving on to the next female. The next female we're going to be talking about is that girl, Chun Li from Street Fighter. Oh my gosh, she is bad. Now, the first time I actually seen her was this group of kids. They were playing Marvel versus Capcom, bro. I was at a sleepover and they were playing the game and I seen one of the kids pick her, bro. And when I seen her, bro, I was like, damn, she low-key cute. Also, off topic, this dude was, like, hella good with her, bro. This man knew every combo with her, bro. Like, the other dude picked freaking... I don't even remember who he picked because he was whooping his ass so bad. I was so focused on her. I didn't even know who the opponent was, bro. Like, he was just messing him up so bad, bro. Them kick combos was gorgeous, bro. Oh, my God. I couldn't get my eyes off them damn thighs. In fact, she's the reason why I have a thigh issue, bro. She is the reason why I say thick thighs save lives. Now, I ain't really getting to Street Fighter after this. I'm pretty sure a couple years later, I got into Street fighter this was around like the era where the whole may situation went down when i started beating my meat the sleepover though happened like a couple weeks after the the whole gta loading screen girl but yeah i started again into street fighter i picked her a lot bro because she was just so bad bro i just love whooping people with her bro now chun li is bad bro i still think she's bad to this day i don't care what y'all say bro she look good now i'm about to go on a little rant over here but bro i am sorry the people that found her through fortnite just get on my nerves because if y'all didn't know fortnite street fighter had a collab and they added a bunch of street fighter characters into fortnite and chun li was one of them characters and a lot of people found out about her through this because she got memed a lot and the reason why she got memed was because of literally how bad she was bro she had the biggest dumpy in the entire game bro it took people for them to add her into fortnite to realize this when i've been realizing this since day one I was legit. I realized this, bro. Y'all ain't OGs, bro. Y'all just riding the trend, bro. Y'all need to get out of here, bro. Motherfuckers don't even know what game she came from, bro. People really think that she came from Fortnite, bro. And I've seen the anime kids get mad, bro. Because if y'all didn't know Goku and Naruto and Deku and all the anime characters got added to Fortnite, I don't care if kids think that freaking anime characters are from Fortnite. Say that Goku's from Fortnite. Say Naruto. I don't care. Just don't say that Chun Li is from Fortnite, bro. Because y'all don't understand, bro. I have loved this girl since day one and y'all can't disrespect her like that. Y'all think Chun-Li needs a scar and a golden pump to protect herself? Are you crazy, bro? Have y'all seen her thighs in the game, bro? And that's another thing. Oh my god, I gotta talk about that. They nerfed her so hard in Fortnite, bro. They basically took off all the meat from her thighs and just slapped it onto her booty, bro. And as a thigh person, this is very upsetting, bro. I was trying to see some thigh action, but now it's a little bit nerfed. I mean, it's not that nerfed. It's not that bad. She still looks decent. Where they did fuck up the most though was the face oh my god her face looks way too weird in this game bro i don't know how to explain it but it just looks off like look at her face in the other games bro she looks way prettier and way better like bro in fortnite they gave her like a very manly face bro while in the game she looks like more feminine like look at the comparison bro look at her in street fighter versus in fortnite bro like come on bro it's obvious which one is better i'm not the type of person to sit there and bitch and just say oh fortnite ruins everything oh fortnite is trash but no this time i genuinely think that fortnite kind of ruined this i don't care if i'm running out of shit to say i'm spinning back for part two bro the thighs are just pissing me off bro because what is she gonna choke with that bro y'all gave her these skinny ass legs bro she's a freaking character that kicks bro y'all need to give her her legs from the game and i know they can do it too because look at the hulk he's in the game and his legs are just massive bro they could easily do the same thing for chun Li, but no they decided to give her these skinny ass thick legs bro don't get me wrong again Again, she's not bad in fortnite it's just the older versions look way better from the actual street fighter games okay i'm done ranting now so um yeah pretty much just let me know what y'all's video game crushes is down below in the comments let me know if there's any i should take a look at in the next video and uh yeah with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and catch you on the next one peace